The knee artery therapy in breast cancer has uh, the impact that we know if a patient is responding to the treatment, and this is measured by the pathological complete response, that the patients who achieve a uh, pathological complete response have a better outcome. That's why we need to improve the treatment, and one way of improving uh, the treatment is adding or exchanging old agents by new agents. There are many, many new therapies currently undergoing and uh, the new adjuvant approach is a very quick approach. You don't have to wait years um, until new treatments uh, are approved because you just have the time of the treatment and then you operate and then you have the result. So there are new agents like um, platinum, which is not an new agent itself, but it's a new agent in the Neativan setting, which is currently investigated in addition, for example, to a PARP inhibitors, um, which are currently under um, investigation. But there are also new chemotherapy agents like napaclitaxel, which is approved in the metastatic setting, but it's not yet available in the early breast cancer setting. And we have conducted the Capraceptto study, which showed that Napaclitaxel is actually increasing the PCR compared to a paclitaxel or solvent-based paclitaxel containing regimen. After the results of a neoadjuvant treatment, it's usually not yet ready available. It really depends on if the drug is already on the market or not. But um, uh, we have demonstrated that the drug works better in increasing the PCR rate, but we have no data immediately for the long-term outcome. And we know that the PCR correlates with the survivor, but we don't know if a PCR increase um, uh, correlates always with a better uh, disease-free or overall survival. So usually we have to wait for the long-term outcome data. And there were several uh, initiatives ongoing to correlate PCR with outcome. And it seems like if at all there is a correlation, it's for probably dose-dense chemotherapy compared to standard. They showed a PCR increase is translating into a survival benefit and probably in the HER2 positive and triple negative breast cancer patients. These might be the areas to focus on. Well, currently um, there are many studies ongoing, so I'm not sure if I have a complete overview of all the trials ongoing. I can only speak for those we, the germ breast group is involved in. And there are, we are conducting currently a dose dense uh, neoadjuvant study, so it's uh, there are not so many uh, ongoing, so we are comparing a dose-dense regimen, which is widely used in the adjuvant setting, with a, a standard, well, weekly regimen, a combined week, weekly regimen, which can also be considered as dose-dense. This is currently ongoing, and there are uh, there are PARP inhibitor studies going on where we and others are involved in. Um, I think these are the main initiatives currently um, looking for. PCR improvement as well as improvement in long-term outcome.